<laughs> Good. Right, today on the menu, we're using the barbecue. I'm going to be outside on the roof a little bit later, so you can join me later. Um, well, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. We're making chicken sliders. So these are these beautiful little buns. So we're making small little sliders. It's great for the kids, great for the barbecues, great for summer. Uh, we're going to make a red cabbage slaw. So we've got this beautiful texture and tanginess. And we've got a little bit of salad on there and some mayonnaise. It's going to be fantastic. Join me later on the roof. Back to you guys. Thanks for joining us on The Cafe. Soon we'll be chatting with King Capizzi and Jay Jackson about the incredible Def Jam New Zealand showcase that could help to find some amazing Kiwi talent. Now though, we have men cooking with fire and that's why they're not allowed to do this in the Mastercraft kitchen. It's what could possibly go wrong. Thanks Mel, we're outside, we're having a barbecue today. It's England's Chicken Week and we thought we'd end it with a barbecue and a very special guest because with us today we have the founder of Mola Brewery, Josh. How are you Josh? Thanks Mike, great. Yeah. I tell you what, it is so good to have you here. Um, just quickly, how many beers does Mola have? Um, we've, got, we've got about 10 in a range. Um, yeah, and we do lots of seasonal, so that's how the craft brewers sort of roll, yeah. Nice, well I tell you what, it's the season to start matching with barbecue and chicken. Yep, so what is a good match with white meat? Uh, usually um, some of the white beers the lighter styles like a white lager or you know just an easy drinking lager yeah definitely. nice okay so I've done about eight out of the ten nice. you've got so <laughs> so I tell you what we'll come back and we'll we'll find out what beer perfectly matches this Ingham's chicken slider that we're going to be doing here today so Mark you can crack into it what have you got right so we're going to do chicken sliders yeah really simple we've got some chicken mince here going to make a quick mix we've got a nice uh, tangy coleslaw yeah and little slider buns as okay. well great might, for the kids I might need a couple of them <laughs> four each okay. four each you know you you're talking okay good now look the sun is coming out barbecue cooking and this is the great thing with Ingham's chicken is that so versatile so you've got this chicken it's been minced up yeah so that's it so we've minced the chicken yep and just some breadcrumbs to bind it so nice. it's as simple as that you okay, know this good. is a very basic recipe you can put eggs in there if you want you can put coconut milk in there you can put any flavor you want in this nice. I'm just going to show you the basics today and this is really good making your own patties too, isn't it, for the little sliders? Because you get them the right size, exactly, yeah. and then you get them the right flavour too. And you know exactly what's in there. There you go, exactly what's in there. Right, so we're just going to mince that through, and we're going to season it. So, nice bit of pepper and some salt. And just remember, there's a lot of meat in there, so you need quite a lot of seasoning. How good are you on the barbecue? Are you as good on the barbecue as you are <laughs> in the restaurant? Oh, I'm pretty good on the barbecue. Okay, good. <laughs> I did set fire to one once. Oh, no. <laughs> but we won't talk about that. No. <laughs> well, don't be setting fire to this one. By the way, <laughs> get on our Facebook page and enter our competition because you could not only win the mass pork barbecue, but you'd also win a whole lot of Ingham's chicken and a bit of Moa beer tasting to go with that experience as well. So well worth entering. And we'll take you through the beer in just a minute. Okay. Right, so your mix is ready there. Yep. And then all we're going to do is just shape it into little patties. Okay. So I believe you're quite good at that. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave that with you, and you, so you want a, you want a, a, a patty just a little bit bigger than your actual bun, because when it cooks, it's going to shrink a bit, so okay. you don't want to get it too small. Okay. For you there. <laughs> okay. Right, right, do I need to do anything with my hands? I've yeah. cleaned them. Yeah, no, shape, shape them with your hands, and yeah. I'm just going to start chopping some carrots and some cabbage and some red onion for the slaw. Okay, nice. So I'm just going to shape these? Yep. Okay, oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Josh and I can carry on doing this. How thick do you want them? Oh, a good, good sort of one and a half centimetres. Is that even. good? Even? Yeah, no, that's, no, that's good. Well, those that look about right? Yeah, that's no, good. Hang yeah. on, I'll just check with the bun. Perfect. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, Josh and I will carry on with this. Yep. You carry on with your slaw. We're going to come back, we're going to match our Ingham's chicken with some Moa beer. We'll tell you the perfect beer to match all this with in just a minute. Tell you what, we'll come back to the studio very soon and we'll bring this food down because we are having fun here today with Mark. Um, th these are our patties. What have we done to them? I shaped them quite well, didn't so, I? Yeah, no, you did a great mm. job. So they're shaped. Uh, put them in the fridge for about half an hour just to set before you cook them. Oh, okay, that's a so good tip. We've got a hot barbecue on there. Leave the lid on, get it nice and hot. Yeah. And then I'm just going to put... Look at that it. barbie. Oh, that's what you want. Oh, it's nice oh, and clean too. Flame grilled. <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice. So then your Ingham chicken patties go on that we've made, and then it's just a case of making the slaw. So I'll keep an eye on them for you. Yeah, that's awesome. So just got some carrot, red cabbage, yep. red onion. I'm just going to make a quick dressing, a okay. little bit of honey, yep. and some mustard. Yum. And then I'm just going to mix that through a little bit of mayonnaise there. Okay, so we're going to use the Best Foods mayonnaise. Yep. Good. I love how they've got different flavours. It really makes a good dressing, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and we've got the uh, we've got the garlic flavour today. Nice work. Okay, sweet. It's going to be good. Anything else I can do? 
No, that's it. Oh, really? Taste some beer. That's a good thing with the barbecue, <laughs> folks. It's nice and easy. Okay, I'll tell you what, it is time to do some beer matching. So I'm going to bring Josh in. Um, Josh is from the Moa Brewery, and you're New Zealand's only Cicerone. Yes, that's correct, yeah. What's a Cicerone? Oh, Cicerone's all about the history of beer, tasting beer, beer and food matching, and it's uh, everything about beer. So, yeah, you right. have to sit exams and do lots of tastings. And, right. Yeah, so it's a good, good qualification to have. What a great career, though. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, drinking beer for Yeah, that's right. Great. It's no, but it's very sophisticated, isn't it? So we're going to match with our Ingham's Chicken, one yes. of your Moa beers. What yes. have you chosen for us? I've chosen the Southern Alps. Um, okay. And with nice. beer and food matching, we talk about uh, contrasting flavours. Yeah. And I thought this has got uh, it's a wheat beer, white beer. Yeah. Uh, it's got some spicy sort of characters, some uh, herbal type of characters. So it should go really well with chicken patties and, and also the salad. So. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, cool. Well, you crack it open and we'll sort of do it like we do a wine tasting, Yeah, exactly I guess. the same, yes. When you're developing beers, Josh, what are you thinking about? Um, you're thinking about uh, flavours, yeah. uh, balance of flavours, uh, and you're thinking about drinkability. So, okay. um, so it's all about making something that you can sit down, just like a wine, and you can appreciate. Um, and um, and you can talk about it and talk about the flavours and not just sort of chuck it back. So. Okay, nice. So let's talk about the flavours. This is a good thing. Kiwis are getting much better at, at, yeah, at craft beers, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. Yes, certainly are. So yeah, so there's sort of a yeah. lovely sort of coriander sort of note, uh, some herbal notes, uh, but you also get that wheat character from the from the wheat that's in the beer. So, yeah, yeah, so I hope definitely. You're not gluten intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> you know that smells really fresh, actually. Yes, I quite like fresh, it. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then we just have a wee taste. Oh, that is smooth. That is yep. nice. Yeah, very yeah. clean, very crisp. Yeah, yep, wheaty no, character. Right. Yeah, herbaceous is great. I tell you what, that one is going to go well with our Ingham chicken sliders, and of course there's others that you've got too, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, we've got a got a large range. We've got um, IPAs, parallels are the most famous styles. So the New Zealand hops are really well known. Um, we also do some sour beers, which are really unusual. Right. Sour beers used to be first made 7,000 years ago, so yeah, something really different. No way. Okay, well look, I tell you what, really good that you got. Here you go. You yeah. can try some things. Yeah. <laughs> Better let the chef have some. Um, you could actually go to someone's house who wins this competition, yes. take them through an education of yep. beer. Um, this is the perfect way to celebrate a great Kiwi weekend. So make sure you get the recipe by going to the cafe.co.nz. Sliders are down, just finishing off. We've got a little bit of mayonnaise, a tiny bit of salad, and that beautiful crunchy slaw and the chicken patty there. Yeah, you, you forgot the sliders. beers, you leave them up there. Yeah, I'll <laughs> <Okay>. drag them. <laughs> nice. What are you doing Monday? Well, I'm doing an orange and olive oil cake.